I was talking to you earlier, I was talking to someone earlier. When you're coming up the line as the plate guy for a routine ground ball, yep. you can ask yourself, what are you doing? Are you just coming up there because you're you know, supposed to come up there? I mean, right. you're, you're well, actually... Well, well, you, I'm going to look at, you know, if he's going to come to me, whether or not the kid hold the bag. If it's f***ed, I'll throw. But yes. Obviously, I mean, something routine, I mean... I mean, I go up the line just because you're supposed to go up the line. I was going to pay you a compliment. I like that you're in fair territory a little bit. Yeah. I see a lot of guys, they run up the line, they're right on the line. If anything happens, they're just looking right up the runner's ass. They can't see anything. No. I would, you're clearing the catcher to the left. Stay a foot or two inside fair territory so you can actually get a look at what you're supposed to be looking at. Right. I, I thought, I don't know if that's why you're doing it or not, but that's well, what no, I yeah, do. I mean, it makes sense. Thing, and, you got to get away from the catcher. Sometimes. Yes. Catches just stand there, like, oh, then you're gonna go all, all the way around him. Right. I mean, I, being on the uh, turf field, I thought I was too far over. I'm going, geez, I gotta, you know, I got that mindset where I wanna keep one in, in fair territory, you know what I mean? I'm like, that's a little too far, right? If, if, if you have a potential you know, runner's lane violation or something, you wanna hold the line, that's one thing. Yeah. But on those ground balls, the shortstop, you're not looking for that. Right. I think you're better off where you are in fair territory yeah. rather than being in foul territory and looking right behind the guy where you can't uh -huh. see anything. I like that. You trying to take all your plays from that kind of distance? Two or three steps off, that's what Darren oh, I'm not talking off the line, I'm talking distance to the bag. Too close? I'm just asking if you feel comfortable where you are. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I prefer to get a little bit farther. Yeah. Farther back, just I feel, I don't know, for whatever reason, I just see it better. If you, work, right. if you work in two man or something, you don't want to get closer, ball gets away, you got to beat them to second. You got four guys, you're not going to have to take them into second or anything. You can afford to get farther back. Okay. Or if it drops, he's going to throw it to second. It's not going to come right back to first. Mm -hmm. So I, I wouldn't get too, too close to it. Okay. Yeah. And also on those pop ups, they're kind of tricky where no one's going out and you're kind of like, okay, who's going to take the catch, no catch? You guys can look at each other and maybe just tap yourself on the chest, whoever wants to take it. That's right. So, that, that's good. That's yeah. a good idea. I mean, nine times out of ten, he catches it up here and you don't even need a signal. Right. But if there is something weird, you don't want to be looking at each other after it happens to be like, okay, who has it? If he gives me a clean look, I, I, I'm like, you definitely like to stay in foul. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of, for whatever reason, there's a lot, a lot of guys that don't want to go that far foul. I don't understand and why, too. I They're hugging the line for some reason. Yeah. It's not why like. Why do you want to take a chance on being anywhere close where I could say you were For a potential territory. interference, yeah. I don't get it. It's not like it gives them any kind of better chance to get the home plate. Right. So we were talking about, you always go from the line, lean in. Yeah. I always, I always go with my outside. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying. Outside foot. Yeah. Just because of. You know, watching the ball to the outfield. I, and oh, definitely. Kind of, no, no, no. I, I, like I'm not this. questioning about what foot forward. Oh, I'm oh, just okay. saying leaning in versus like a hands on knees or something. You oh, always yeah, do the yeah, same. Yeah. Always. Oh, yeah. Is there. No, 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 no. We, any... We've had this discussion a couple of times oh. over the past couple of days it's about. Go. It's an oh, ongoing okay. conversation. No, for me personally, I, being like this, if he sends me a check swing and I have him going, it feels funny to. I can't. I don't know. Okay. So, when I, so when I got a lefty, I'll go hands on knees. And when I got a righty, then I'll lean in. Okay. Anyway. I got you. Just that makes something. Sense. I think you can move up a little bit. I think it'll make it easier to get to place the second. Also help out on a catch, no catch at the second baseman. I can't. To me, that's uncomfortable to go from here not ever move and not ever move. To reach the zone. And I don't think it's a lack of concentration. I don't think it's a lack of focus or anything like that. It's just it's his personal habit. Yeah, I don't like it. At least give me a glance toward the third baseman. Like I'm trying to somewhat vary my positioning based on what he's doing. He was like, yeah, whatever. And, you know, we always say step up, turn, face the ball. And he goes, and I, I don't want to say this because 
whatever, it's not the correct terminology of whatever umpire school, but step up, turn, chill. I feel like a lot of that applies. You do something when you don't need to do something. Exactly. Dial it up for you. Close. I couldn't tell. We're gonna go to replay on that. Come on. You got it right, absolutely. The replay center says call for turn. It's one of those things I've seen a lot. Guys are they're trying to jump outside on like ground balls and it's like relax. Like you know, I had a guy running like on a dead sprint into center field as a shortstop zone the first. Like what are you doing? Like I was the third out of the inning. You have time to get out there. Yeah. If you there's want, an overthrow and going the guy. in that direction, but why and when do you need to be there, right? Yeah. It's one of those things. I keep telling. I keep noticing at second and third, these guys want to do something, and they just there's nowhere to. Yeah. Sometimes hang out. Yeah. So I've been trying to tell them, you know, watch what's going on. Like get an extra set of eyes on stuff. Even if it's not your responsibility primarily. You know, be able to contribute something if something happens. Three, two, two outs. That's one of those ones where he's running out to the outfield to get there. There's no reason to run out there. Stay with the play. You got plenty of time, plenty of time to get out there for an overthrow and the batter runner coming in a second. It's okay to hang out and watch the play. I mean, on the off chance you have to contribute something to a swipe tag, drop ball, pull foot, something, you don't want to be saying, well, I was running to the outfield for the potential play that could have developed 10 seconds later. That's one of those things that's so hard at third and second base where you feel like you got to do something, go somewhere, and sometimes you just, there's nothing to do. I mean, help out your partners, get an extra set of eyes on something. And after that plays over, then you can kind of make your way into position if something yeah. happens to develop. Right but yeah, you're good. Yeah. it's better to know what's going on than to rush to get somewhere where you don't really have to be. Hey. How about the, uh, the I did the parents on the bat on the throw? So. Yeah, um, I wasn't sure the timing of it. Make sure well, that throw want, doesn't yeah. retire the guy. Right. Right, because if the throw retires them, then you disregard the interference. Yep. So just make sure we're not killing that too soon. Yep. Another thing, too, there was a little bit of confusion as to what was going on. Um, that's one of those things where they're not used to seeing it all that often, and they're not sure what exactly is happening. Yep. There's no harm at all, none. Taking off your mask, stepping out, even walking halfway to the pitcher's mound and explaining what's going on. Hey, we got interference back here. Point him back to first so he knows yep. what's going on, so your rest of your crew knows what's going on. There's no rush on that call. I mean, call it initially when you see it. Are you a fan of calling that early as the wing guy or base guy? No. Just let him call it. I'll give the plate yeah. guy first crack at it. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing, too, is I've, I've guessed wrong yeah. where I think I see something and I call it and then I look at the video and it didn't actually happen. So I gotta be a thousand percent sure, but I'm gonna give the plate guy first crack. Yeah, but I'm saying if he gets it quickly, are you gonna put your hands up too or are you just, nah. it's his at that point? It, yeah, it's agree. his, unless someone's con continuing to still play it. Yeah. 